girls, and welcome to M Kids. I'm Miss Rachel with Memorial Baptist Church. I'm so glad that you came to join us this morning. If you're watching us on Facebook, be sure to like our page. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe to our channel to get notifications of when we have our new videos up. Moms, dads, real quick. Instead of a craft this afternoon, we're gonna do an experiment. So if you can help the kids get a few supplies together, that would be great. Today we're gonna need an old, dirty, tarnished penny. We're also gonna need some salt and vinegar, a bowl or cup to put it in, and either baby wipe or a wet paper towel will do just fine. So we've been learning all about the Lord's Prayer and how we can talk to God. Today we're gonna talk about how we can go to God even when we mess up. When we sin, sometimes things get a little messy, kind of like this mirror here. Now, this mirror isn't very good, right? How useful do you think this is with all that dirt on it? Well, when we mess up, we can ask God to forgive us, and he is just to forgive us of all of our sins and he cleans us right on up, much like this. Well, let's ask God to help us to learn why it's so important to come to him when we make mistakes. Father God, thank you for today. Thank you for everything you've given us. Thank you for the opportunity to talk to you all the time. Lord, please be with us today. Help to open our ears and our hearts and help to show us why it's so important to go to you even when we make mistakes. In your name, amen. Well, while I clean up this mess here, why don't you stand up and sing along to our theme verse, God is Listening by Life Tree Kids. you like that song. I love how much it reminds us that God is always listening. He hears our prayers. Well, we've been learning about the Lord's Prayer 
and how in Matthew chapter 6, Jesus teaches us exactly how we should pray. Therefore, you should pray like this. Our Father in heaven, your name be honored as holy. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have also forgiven our debtors. And do not bring us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. Today, we're learning about the part of the Lord's Prayer that comes from the beginning of verse 12 that says, forgive us our debts. Today, I want you to think about a word that you've probably heard a lot in church. That word is sin. You may have heard people talking about people's sin or that Jesus died to save us from our sins. Or your version of the Lord's Prayer may even say, forgive us of our sins. But what exactly is sin? Basically, sin is when we disobey God's rules for our lives. But where can we find God's rules? That's right, we can find them in the Bible. God gave the Ten Commandments to Moses. Those are some good rules to give us an idea of how he wants us to live. Do you know your Ten Commandments? Let's review them real quick. Number one, keep God first. Number two, cut out those idols. Number three, we want to watch our words and don't misuse God's name. Number four, we want to remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. Number five, we're going to honor our parents. Number six, no murder. Number seven, no adultery. Number eight, don't steal, don't lie, and don't covet. That's right. I hope you remember all of those. Well, Jesus also gave us two commandments. He said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind. And the second one was to love your neighbor as yourself. These were ways that he was able to summarize all those rules in the Old Testament. Not just the Ten Commandments, but there was hundreds of rules that you had to follow. Now remember, I said that the Ten Commandments was a guide for how we should live our lives. Well, if this afternoon you disobey your parents, a policeman isn't going to come to your house and give you a ticket. But there is a debt that needs to be paid. Let's take a look at what the Bible says is that debt. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death. The Bible says that the price for sinning is death. Now, the type of death where the Bible's talking about is a spiritual death, one where we're separated from God forever. God is so holy that he can't be around sin. Just like the mirror was covered in shaving cream, he can't even look at us when we have sin on us. This is the debt that Jesus was talking about when he said that we should ask God to forgive us of our debts. That price that we have to pay is being separated from God forever. But let's take a look at the rest of Romans 6.23 and see what else the Bible tells us. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. The wages of sin is death, separation from God forever. But when we trust Jesus to take away our sins, he takes on that debt for us. Now imagine, if you will, if I got that speeding ticket and the judge told me that I had to pay a fine and somebody else in the courtroom jumped up and said, I'll pay it for you. That's exactly what Jesus did. He lived a holy, life free of all sin but when he died on the cross he paid that price for us he came along and he died to take away all of our sins there's no amount of being good or doing the right things that will take away our sin the only thing that will keep us from being separated from god forever is to confess our sins and ask for forgiveness. Jesus knew we couldn't pay that debt ourselves, so he paid it for us. He knew that being a good person wasn't gonna be enough 
and there wasn't going to be enough good things that we could do to pay the price. All we have to do is pray and ask for forgiveness and accept his invitation to come in and save us from our sins so we can spend an eternity with God. And that's why it's so important that we remember to ask God to forgive us of our debts. Now, let's read in the Bible what the Bible has to say about what happens when we do confess our sin. 1 John 1, 9 says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. What an amazing promise we have that if we confess our sins to God and we trust and believe in Him, that He will forgive us of our sins. Today, instead of a craft, we're going to do an experiment. For our experiment, you're going to need an old, dull, dirty penny, a cup or bowl, some vinegar, and some salt, and either a baby wipe or a wet paper towel. So, Let's start with our penny. They start out bright and shiny, just like this one. But then over time, they start to get dirty and dull, like this penny here. That's kind of what happens when we sin. When we sin, we get mighty messy and dirty. So what I want you to do is I want you to take that wet paper towel or baby wipe, and I want you to clean all that dirt right off. Wait, what? Yours isn't getting shiny? Maybe you need to rub a little harder. Is yours clean? Cause mine sure isn't. This is like when we try hard to take our sin away. No amount of being nice or doing good things is gonna make us clean again. But when we confess our sins to God and we pray and ask him to forgive us, Jesus comes in and he takes our sins away. When we pray to God and ask him to forgive us, the Bible says in 1 John 1, 9 that if we confess our sins, he is faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. He forgives us of our sins, and He makes us nice and bright and shiny again, like the penny was when it was new. God, thank you so much for giving us rules so we'll know how you want us to live. And thank you for sending your Son to die on the cross for our sins and to take on our debt that we could never pay. Thank you, God, for giving us a chance to spend eternity with you. Please forgive us when we disobey your rules and when we fall just a little short of how you want us to live our lives. In your name, amen. Well, today in closing, I have a song I want you to listen to. It's by Life Tree Kids. It's called You Forgive Me, and it tells us all about what happens when God forgives us.
forgive me.